In this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial of how I came about to make this lovely little blouse. So let's get started. Welcome back and welcome new viewers. I am about to start sewing this little outfit for a 16 to 18 inch doll. And I'm going to start using my made up pattern which I outlined, you can barely see. And I am using baby blue cotton fabric because the outside part, I'm going to be using velvet and it's a royal blue. So this is gonna be hopefully a very good combination. And I have half a yard. This came as a little leftover sale and I'm about to use it. It's been rolled up for years. And this is intended for me because I'm afraid that those wrinkles are not gonna come out. So let's get started. I went ahead and pre-sewed the inside part of the collar. So we have lace along the collar, the cuff, and the middle of the shirt. So this being the collar, it's ready to be sewn. So I'll put that to the side and I'll sew it in a bit. I sewed the inside of the shirt. So this is going to be, as you see here, and this is the other. So in theory, we are supposed to have this look. There isn't that much information in here, so I'm going to wing it and continue on. On the cuffs, there is information how you're supposed to leave one left side and one right side. So I went ahead and did that. I left this much room here and I did notice that the pattern calls out for a little buttonhole. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it and then just put a button on the top and the sleeves have been pre-sewn on loose stitch so that I can gather this right here. And this right here is probably for the buttonhole. So maybe I'll go ahead and do it. It would be kind of fancy to know how to do it and show you along the way. So now we're starting to sew. The collar is all pinned up. And now we're gonna go ahead and sew it. And I have the stitch on a medium. It's not loose, so that's the reason why I put too many pins in there to make sure that it'll stay and it's not going to fray. So I do go slow. And like I always say, we are not in a race. You get there slow and steady. And since I'm using my vintage machine, I want to keep it for a good while. I don't want to be bending anything in on the top or in the bottom. I'm just careful. Now I am going to be clipping alongside now that they are both sewn together and I do this right here where we have the the angle one in the middle like so and then continue on from 
here, especially right here. We need a lot of clipping. So just a little bit because it does ease up the cotton. And right here because I have extra gathering on the lace. So now the moment of truth. After this, I'm going to press it down and get it ready. Look how beautiful this looks. Very, very pretty. I am now going to go through the motions of how to do the little cuff. So you have your piece of fabric and you have your lace. So you're going to be putting it this way and get anything that you, um, if you want to have the lace pre-gathered, uh, I went, I go ahead and do it as I'm going through it. And it's coming out this way because it, it got stuck, but it's going to loosen up right now. Okay, so here we have our piece. And on the other side, we are going to face it like so and then fold it in. And this is so that when we do the cuff, when we fold it, it is going to be nice and neat. So now we have our piece and here is our sleeve. So we gather it at the top, like you see here, but since we're gonna do the bottom, we're going to gather, pull the string and gather it in the bottom. And we are going to gather it so that it matches the, the width or the length, if you want to say it that way, of our little lace piece. So it's kind of stuck and so this is what we want to do. The lace part goes facing the fabric and this part, when we fold it, it's going to be nice and I went ahead and pinned it. So here is the back side. This part is here. The lace is in there. So it didn't gather all the way and that's not a problem. So right here I'm going to take my thread out and with a needle or whatever uh, instrument you have to hold it down, I'm using this thread ripper. I am using it to hold a very nice gather and able to control it by going like this and pulling it down. And this is the part that it did not say in the instructions. That little uh, uh, fold work and I'll show you what I call fold work. This little fold work. So this is a fold work that I sewed earlier and when it's sewn you're gonna see this is the inside part. You're going to hand sew it in here and it's gonna look very very pretty. But for now I want to also show you this is the original piece that I cut out and where it needed room for the the hole button so I'm going to sew this for you and show you how this would go about so I'm going to sew it up to here
And I'm going to turn it around so that you can get a good look at this. And here is the opening. So two things. You can sew it like this. And there's a lot of thread here. So I'm going to sew it up till we get to the the little um, cuff. Very small. And do the other one. So the little cuff area. And let's get this cleaned up because we need to have a crucial little show and tell here. So this is the cuff and how you go about that. And this part right here with the fold work that I call fold work right there is going to look like this. Fold it in. No matter how, well, I shouldn't say that, but no matter how much I cut this, I always have this little mess here. I just noticed that I moved it with my, with my palm, and that's too much fussing here. Let's do this, and I double sewed this. All right, let's do it again. I think I cut too much from the edge. So this right here, is going to look like so. And I could have gotten my scissors, but this is just briefly here. So you pack everything inside, all the, from the inside, and you hand hem this part here all the way through and then I'm going to fold it inside out now that it's kind of cuffed in so that we can see it this is different to the one that I made and I'm going to sew this and it's okay because we have that little hole there so I'm going to sew this so that we can have a, a good view of how this goes. Or, or at least how I'm doing it. So now let's turn this inside out. And I'm sorry about that. I didn't I didn't realize that it had been turned and I didn't turn it back. But here is the little cuff area and isn't this fancy? Right there. You have that little opening. And you can put a button in here, a faux button to resemble the cuff. Very nice, and that is how you, you do the cuff. And the little lace, let me bring it close, is up here. And I did this white so that you can see the work. And this is an extra sleeve. Here is my doll. And this cuff right here in blue and this is the cuff that I just did right now in white and here we are here's the collar that was just made and here is the view of behind and let me see if I can move her hair nicely and the front the sleeves came a little bit longer. Let me show you here. If I pull it all the way down, 
Let me see this one. This one's a little bit loose. So it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. I went ahead when I put the jacket on or the little bolero, it kind of like pulls it up. So here is the view of the pretty little lace. So what I did is I put the lace in here and I put the lace on the side. And that is the inside work. And here is the work of the inside. So I was not sure how to go about and do this, but I went ahead and winged it and it came out really, really nice, centered, as you see there, and overall very happy of how it came out and just went ahead and used the logic of what to do in this case right here and how to go ahead and do the little cuffs. Follow my channel. You'll be able to see all three videos or main videos of this endeavor of the complete set with the bolero and the pants and the blouse, of course, which we just did. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a comment, and a share. Shares are helping my channel grow and that's what I'm working on every moment of the day. Thank you and have a great one. Bye.